So recently, uh, I read some research that uh, uh, Australia has started producing tissue culture root stock in avocados. So, yes. do you think what what's your opinion about it, and do you think that's the future of avocado root stock propagation? Um, I hope so. Okay. Well, I think it's got two sides because there's still the, the idea was that it was going to take out. It started up when we couldn't get trees. It was taking three years to get a tree. Yeah. So they started doing tissue culture with the hope that it would get rid of that long wait. Yeah. That's really shortened up now to only being a year. Yeah. Um, but they grow it in the lab. It still has to go. It's still a rootstock. So they're growing the rootstock yeah. to tissue culture. It yeah. still has to go to a nursery and then get grafted and then grown out in a yeah. pot. So it, I can't really see it tightening up that gap too much okay they've also spent a lot of energy trying to find the exact uh, gel to okay. feed them and they're finding it's different for different rootstocks yeah i know they've, they've been very successful with reed yes but no one wants reed <laughs> so i mean i think they're they're putting all their energy into dusa yeah. and velvic yeah um i have heard that um ash dot may have been done as well but okay. it's just the strike rates I'm not sure yeah. on that yeah. um, how, how good they are I think they a nursery to be commercially available yet I think a nursery from Spain has also done it and they have done it on Degania okay yeah, yeah okay yep. but like I'm not sure uh, how they, I've only contacted them once so I'm not sure how successful it is or what's the mean like so yeah, yeah okay yeah. I see it as I see it as being good to say transport around the world in smaller yeah. tubes and, yeah. and get into countries say like India or um, you know grow up developing sort of industries. Yeah, I think it'd yeah. be good for them to get quality rootstock and then you can grow it out on site, graft yeah. it. Yeah. Um, you know, along with budwood or something like that. It would definitely play a good role there. Yeah. Um, and I think it is good to know that it will take out disease as well. Mm -hmm. um, so the rootstock you're getting, they can check if it's got any disease and you can guarantee yeah. that that product turned up disease free till it got yeah. to the nursery. Yeah. And then the nursery probably gave you the disease <laughs> or the grower did. Like, there's still still limitations there. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. So. Right.